More reports that Arsenal are setting up a mega money move for Real Madrid's Chuameni. A number of British journalists have poured water over this fire, but the Spanish press and the European press keep on talking about it. We're delving into this story, plus looking at Chelsea's latest bid for Vlahovic, their attempt to improve their front line, and a done deal closing in as Man City look to spend £86 million on Guardiao to improve their back line and try and maintain their treble winning season. Hit the like and the share button, subscribe right now, turn on those bell notifications. It's the Done Deal Show. Let's go. Arsenal have had nothing short of a sensational start to this transfer window. £200 million spent, the improvements to their squad in Yuri and Timber and Declan Rice are undeniable. Now, I know we're all waiting, Gunas especially, but we're all waiting as a footballing world for the formal announcement. But we know it's imminent. We know it's going to happen. We know it's a foregone conclusion at this point. But what next for Arsenal? There's talks of Cancelo. There's talks of more attackers. But for just over a week now, the news that Arsenal were exploring the possibility, that Arsenal were lining up a bid. Some say 70, some say 80, some say 90, some say 100 million, depending on the outlet. That they're lining up a big money bid for the Real Madrid and young French superstar in Chouameni. Now, straight away, I know some of you are going to say, Terry, stop. There's no way. Too much money. Real Madrid are not going to let him go. I share the same thoughts as you. I share the same thoughts. I feel the same way. But it doesn't mean we shouldn't talk about the story. You bank the information. You go, okay, well, I disagree. Maybe some people in the football terrorist community think it could happen. And they might want to explain why. Everybody's opinion is valid. We don't just not talk about a transfer story because I, Terry Fluid, don't believe it's going to happen. That would be a rather narcissistic and self-centered way to look at football. But the article here, or the snippet from the article here says, Arsenal are exploring the possibility of signing Chouameni to partner Declan Rice in their midfield next season, according to reports in Spain. The Gunners have already signed Kai Havertz from Chelsea and are set to add Rice and Ian Timber to their squad, taking their spending past £200 million. A deal for Chouameni could also be in the pipeline, according to... They quote their Defensa Central, who claim Arsenal are preparing a bid between 68 and 77 million to submit to Real Madrid. Now, it's an interesting claim because, as I say, I, I think this man's futures at Real Madrid. I believe he wants to remain there. I don't personally see him leaving, not for Arsenal per se, but for anybody right now. But that's how I, that's what I think about it. But why not chance your arm on a real level? The story is true and Arsenal are going to bid the money. Why not chance your arm? They've spent 200 million without needing to sell anybody. You, know, you get rid of a Xhaka. You get rid of a Partey. A Kieran Tierney. They're not, they're not looking for net spend here. No, Arsenal fans don't want to have a good net spend summer. We all know good net spend summers is something losers focus on. Generally speaking, it's, it's almost a talking point in football that shouldn't be discussed, but it's so overindulged in it's unbelievable. There must be so much heartburn out there for the amount of it people consume. But why not chance your arm? I know Lavia they're linked to. Great. You've got the situation with Caicedo, but he looks set for Chelsea. Why not chance your arm? Now, you all know what I personally think. I'm playing devil's advocate here. I'm looking at it from another point of view. Why should Arsenal not? Why would it be pointless for Arsenal? Do you not think they have the pull? Do you not think they have the, 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 the prowess, the prestige to turn his head? Especially if he's not part of the first team plans at Real Madrid. This could be a case of, look, we're going to go head to head with the best team in the world right now. We want to partner you with one of the best midfielders in European football. 
We want to bring you into one of the youngest and most exciting teams in Europe. We want you to be a figurehead, not a squad member of. Could that not work to tempt too many away? I want to know what you think. That's the story. I haven't made this up. You know my personal opinion. I don't think it will happen. But some of you are going to believe in this. And I want to know your reasons. I want to know your rationale. I want to see how much you understand the game. Let me know in the comments section below. Now, staying in London, Chelsea. It says here that 50, Chelsea have had a bid turned down. 50 million pounds. 50 pieces here. Chelsea have, have, have seen their 50 million opening offer for Dusan Vlahovic from Juve turned down by the Serie A club. According to reports in Italy, the Blues are ramping up their efforts to strengthen Maurizio Pochettino's squad after sanctioning eight exits so far, raising over 200 million pounds. Uh, Corella De Saro, I think that's how you pronounce it. I might, I might have absolutely butchered that name. Uh, claim the West London outfit have made contact and offered 50 million for Vlahovic and that the offer has been rebuffed and they want at least 68 million or 80 million euros for the Serbian. And as we all know, Chelsea should not be laughed at or ridiculed for low balling. Low balling is very natural and normal when it comes to the bidding process. But this Chelsea team, I said it the other day, a bit, I said it the other day, in fact, I've been saying it for over a year. Todd Bowley, Clear Lake and Co. are trying to build something substantial. That isn't to say that Roman didn't, but Roman's actions in the last seven or eight years of his, of his ownership, yes, they won the Champions League. But most Chelsea fans in their heart of hearts love it, celebrate it, a huge part of their history. But we'll all tell you, on a cold, honest morning, it kind of papered over some cracks. We haven't challenged for a Premier League in seven years. There were problems. Some of the recruitment, some of the renewals of contracts, bad issues at board level. They are trying to fix all that. And year one, Chelsea did a disastrous, it was the monumental cock-up by everybody involved. But they are trying to rectify it. They're getting rid of unwanted players, players that want to leave, Deadwood and more. They've gone and got a Elite coaching. Where is an elite manager is one is another question, but an elite coaching. They've got a lot of young talent for the future. They've spent big. Now what they need is more experience. Now I know that Vlahovic is quite young, but he's a youngster who has a vast amount of experience at World Clubs, Champions League, playing in one of the biggest and best leagues in the world. I've got a feeling if these reports they could get this done. Yes, so right now they're about 18 million off the asking price. But that day isn't that far. It isn't that far away. And this Chelsea team, with their owners, are serious. And now some of you, I know some of you in the, in the, in the TFT community don't believe they're going to come back next year. I don't believe they're going to challenge for the Prem. No, no, no. That's far too early. But they are going to bounce back quickly. Especially with signings like this. Let's see what the next bid looks like. To see how quickly it gets rejected. What, what are they going to bid next? 60 probably? See whether there's a bit of a delay in the rejection or maybe some negotiations. Because, again, you've got to be prudent. You've got to try and get money off players. That's probably the mistake they made last summer. They kind of overpaid for a few people. They rushed in a little bit with, you know, Todd Bowley in his cowboy hat and his size 12 boots. A little bit gung-ho. This year, different people running it. Football people running it. They will go about it differently. But I want to get I know your thoughts, feelings, and what you think about this potential deal in the comments section. Now, finally, uh, Man City are expected to close the deal to sign uh, Guardiao for £86 million in the next few days. That is from The Telegraph, who believe this deal is done, essentially. It will close. It will complete in the next few days. Now, we know the player wants City. Personal terms have been outright agreed. He is desperate to come and play for Pep Guardiola. He is desperate to play for the treble winners. And he wants to come and play in the biggest, confirmed by, by the way, the biggest and the best, confirmed by UEFA today, ranked number one again, the Premier League. It shows, there was a film made a few years ago talking about, Wall Street was made in the 70s or the 80s. Great movie with Michael Douglas. They made a sequel to this about 10 years ago with Shia LaBeouf and Michael Douglas in it. 
and Charlie Sheen actually guest appearance in that film. And it said, money never sleeps. City never sleep. And yes, they've got the allegations hanging over them. Yes, they've got a lot of question marks and some murky dealings to, to prove their innocence over. But money never sleeps. City never sleep. They're improving that squad again. Kovacic already in. Buddy out in. They will find a replacement for Ilkay Gundogan. If Silva leaves, they'll find the replacement. There is no doubt about it in my mind. That will get done. It will get over the line. And if they can't find someone adequate, they'll promote somebody or move somebody's position. They'll go again next year. This is a phenomenal piece of business. Now, I hate sitting here and praising Arsenal and praising City and, pra and praising Chelsea. Some people go, oh, Chelsea's always praising Arsenal, nobody else. And it's because you've got cognitive dissonance and you hear praise for one team, your brain switches off with anger and you stop listening to everything else. Get it checked out. But I can't not praise quality. This is a phenomenal signing with such a high ceiling and potential and the ability again to keep City at the top of the tree. Man United, Liverpool, everybody, everyone's got to respond. And as much as Arsenal are improving their squad, City are looking to freshen up and go again. Give me your thoughts on Guardiola. How do you think he'll fit in at Man City? Where do you think he'll play? And any other transfer stories that we haven't covered yet today that you want us to speak about? Remember, we've got the top six show at 6 p.m. So make sure you're all tuning in then. Until next time, my people, take care. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Peace.